welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. As you saw in the title and as I've teased in my last couple videos, I'm doing a Shop Disney unboxing today. I've got my box down here. It's a really big one. I've teased about this a couple times because I've been really excited for this purchase. Just to give a little bit of a backstory, um, I was there were two purposes for my purchase. One was a birthday present for my mom, which is in here. And two was to purchase the newest backpack from the Minnie Mouse main attraction series. So for those who don't know, it's a limited edition series of items based off of popular attractions. So the one that most recently came out was based off of Peter Pan's flight. It was this really cute sequined backpack blue with the London skyline and Peter Pan and the kids flying. I'll insert a picture just so you know what I'm looking at and what I'm talking about. Um, but when COVID hit, there were issues with limited edition sales. Obviously you couldn't go in a store and buy something. The stores were all closed. So when they resorted to selling everything online, bots went in and purchased mass quantities and sold it on the internet for three and four times the price, which wasn't fair to people like me who A, can't afford it, and B, just want one item for myself. So their solution was to do these merch passes. Essentially, you would enter with your email and your Shop Disney account to hopefully be picked to purchase something. It was like a raffle to purchase. So I entered as soon as I could, and as it turns out, I didn't get a merch pass. So I was unable to purchase the backpack. I was so excited to get it, and obviously I, I couldn't. So I kind of supplemented with a few other items from Shop Disney that are in this box. They were much cheaper, and so I guess I'm kind of benefiting in the long run. So uh, first observations with this box is it is packaged terribly. For being a really massive company who sends boxes out probably hundreds on the daily, they should know how to do this. So if you look at this, th this is already a hole. I didn't even bring scissors to open this bad boy up because it's already open. So I don't think you can see my address, but the, the box is just kind of crushed. So a little disappointing, but none of the items I got were breakable. So I'm not too worried about the items, but buyer beware if you buy from Disney, they just don't package very well. So let's rip this guy up. Let's blast her open. So every Disney package has this tissue on top, which I think this is the cutest thing ever. I always reuse this tissue. If you ever get a gift from me, it might have this on top of it. Now I don't order from Shop Disney all that often, but when I do, I reuse this because it's the cutest thing ever. So. Um, the first thing that I was most excited for to supplement for this backpack was, oh, it's covered in tissue. We'll get this all cleaned off here. I got these graduation ears. I'm going to set my box on the floor so we can get a good look at these. So, um, let's get this tag in place with the tassel. So as you can see, They've got the mortar board and the tassel, which obviously I can just flip it as I wear it. So this is the front and it's the same thing on the back. But what I love is that it says class of 2020. Uh, I was supposed to graduate in May, but COVID hit and my graduation was canceled and I didn't even get to have a digital or a virtual graduation, which is a little disappointing. So these are gonna have to do, they'll supplement. I'll go ahead and put these on. It's a little hard to put yours on with glasses, so we'll see how this goes. These are the cutest thing. Magic trick. Pull that tag off, so. They're really cute. The hat is a little small for my head. <laughs> I think my head kind of dwarfs it. I'm sorry, I'm getting some weird angles up in here, but, and I've got my ribbon in the back. I'll actually take the ribbon off. There we go. So these are super cute. I swear they look a little funny, but I'm not even mad about it. So yeah, class of 2020 on the side. They are a sequin. You can see the shimmer and the light. The hat is navy with a gold tassel. So I think it's cute. It was on sale. I'll actually link all of my items in the description. So if you want to uh, get your hands on one of these things, um, you'll be able to with the links below. Um, the next item I'm pulling out, this is going to static cling to my forehead. I ordered my very first 
wishable. So if you don't recognize these characters, these are from the Country Bear Jamboree. Um, you can see in the back here the characters that you can potentially get. I don't know the names of these characters as well as I should. I worked in Frontierland. That was my location on my college program. And what I didn't realize before I started working in Disney is that the country bears roam Frontierland aimlessly. And it has since become one of my favorite things. Wendell is now my favorite country bear because of the interactions I had with him while I was working. So none of these bears on the back were bears that tour Frontierland, but the song that uh, I guess Bunny, Bubbles, and Eula sing, their quote, their song says, all the guys that turn me on, turn me down, which is the funny. I didn't appreciate Country Bear Jamboree until I worked Frontierland. So next time you're there, give it a shot. It, it's underappreciated. So let's go ahead and open this up and see which one I get. I think that's the one I would want the most is these this, these girls here on the end. And I believe there's three variations, um, but just pictured as one of them. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh, okay. So I didn't get one of those girls. I got Henry. Henry kind of, he's so cute though. And it's the softest thing ever. His collar here is hysterical. He's actually super cute. He kind of leads the show. He's the host of the show in Magic Kingdom. I love the stars on his eyes. I love the detail. There's even a tooth there. This is so cute. So he might not have been the one I wanted the most, but his top hat, oh my goodness. He's still so cute. I'll go ahead and put him on my shelf here. Can you see that? You can. So my next purchase, my next item wasn't in this haul, but it goes with the final item that I've been, the, the birthday present for my mom. By the time this is posted, she'll have already been given this present. So it's not a big deal that it's hitting the internet. But uh, I bought a couple weeks ago. Every time she goes to the parks, anytime we travel, she uses her magic band on our trip and then proceeds to throw it away. And the number of times I have said, mom, you know we're gonna go back to the parks. You might as well keep it. Here we are going in October. She doesn't have a magic band to use. So I solved that problem for her. And I got this Edna Mode and Jack Jack magic band. This is so cute. There's a really big joke that my mom looks like Edna. And so I themed her birthday present off of Edna. So there's the cookies. That's a big plot line in Incredibles 2. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's a really cute movie. I think they did a really good job with that sequel and was worth the wait. Um, but Edna's the focus on this. Jack Jack's super cute, but Edna is queen. So that brings us to the final item. This will be part of her present. And then this final item is the best part. So I'm going to unwrap it and then unveil it in just a couple seconds. All right, so this final item that I am unboxing, I have to talk a little quieter because she just came home and I don't want her to find out about it before she can unwrap it. So it is the Edna Mode Loungefly backpack. So you can kind of see the glare in her eyes. Her eyes are really shiny, but um, I'm obsessed with this. I love the material. It's, it's not necessarily a full leather, but it's even got the stitching here where her dress is and stripes. There's detail here, like her sleeves would be. Obviously the v-neck, the pursed lips crack me up. Her glasses are huge with her eyeballs, large and in charge. Um, pink zipper, and it's very basic in the back, but it's the same material all the way around. These are a more traditional faux leather. Um, and then it's got this softer material. I don't even know what you would call it. If you know what this material is called, if you've seen this backpack and you know what it's called, comment in the, leave a comment and let me know what it's called because I honestly have no idea. And then with her glasses, you can tell they put a clear plastic over top of the design of her eyeballs. So it looks like she's wearing glasses. So um, it's got the pocket on the front. It does have pockets on the side as well, but they're really only big enough to shove your phone inside. Uh, not much more fits in it. it is I mean as you can see you can't fit a water bottle in here but that's essentially the look of these pockets so the fun thing about lounge flies is that they always have the best lining on the inside they do not skimp on any detail so they make the outside look amazing and they make the inside look just as fantastic so if you look on the inside here it's full of paper but 
it says no capes all over the place, which is amazing. You couldn't have picked a better detail to put on the inside of this liner. So I think she's gonna love it. She's seen it before in pictures. My brother was at Disney Springs um, in June. He went to Florida and took a, a day in Disney Springs and sent her a picture of this and she thought it was super cute. And so the two of us decided that we were going to combine our money and make this a present from the both of us. So with us going down as a family in October and now having this house, she'll have lots of opportunities to use this and the matching magic band. I think she's gonna love it, so. So that is all I had for today's video. Um, I think my favorite item of this is probably that backpack, even though I'm not the one keeping it. The attention to detail on those lounge flies is so awesome. I only have one lounge fly backpack right now, which isn't a collection, um, but they're expensive. They're really novelty items. So we'll see when I'm able to splurge on another one for myself. But right now I'm really happy to gift one to my mom. Um, my next series of videos are going to be of my upcoming trip to the house for our very first visit. I'm assuming the next video I upload uh, this next Friday will be my first time walking through the house and that tour and the initial reactions as I'm seeing everything in person for the first time. So if you want to see that video, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when all of those videos come out. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite item that I got was in the comments. Like I said before, I will leave uh, the links in the description. So if you were wanting to get one of these items for yourself, that's how you can check it out. Thanks for unboxing with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.